When people talk about Linux in 2025, it's the conversation is no longer just about freedom or customization. It is also about efficiency. Hardware is evolving in strange directions with ultra low power laptops, repurposed office PCs, virtual machines, cloud instances, and even single board computers, all becoming part of everyday workflows. At the same time, millions of older systems are still perfectly usable if the operating system running on them is lightweight and well optimized. That is exactly why lightweight Linux distributions continue to matter, not as a niche, but as a practical solution for real users. In this video, we are diving into the top 10 lightweight Linux distros. You absolutely must try in 2025, not as a simple list, but as a journey through different philosophies of speed, simplicity, and efficiency, all wrapped in the flexibility that Linux is known for. Let's start by understanding what lightweight really means in 2025. It no longer just means low RAM usage at idle. Although that is still important, it also means fast boot times, minimal background services, low CPU overhead, and the ability to stay responsive under load. A lightweight distro today should feel instant on older hardware and incredibly smooth on modern systems. It should also give you the choice to stay minimal or scale up when you need more power. With that in mind, the first distro that deserves serious attention is one that has built its entire identity around speed and simplicity. Arch Linux continues to be a favorite for users who want a truly lightweight system built from the ground up. In its default state, Arch installs almost nothing beyond the bare essentials, leaving you in full control of what runs on your machine. This means no unnecessary services, no bloated desktop environment, and no hidden background tasks. In 2025, Arch feels even more relevant because of its rolling release model, which keeps the system modern without requiring major upgrades. When combined with a lightweight desktop environment like XFCE, LXQT, or even a tiling window manager, Arch can easily run comfortably on systems with very limited resources. What makes Arch especially powerful is that it scales with you. You can start with a minimal install that uses barely any RAM, then gradually add tools and features as needed, all while maintaining full transparency about what is installed and why. Closely related in philosophy, but very different in approach. Is Alpine Linux originally designed for servers and containers? Alpine has gained a strong following among desktop users who care about extreme efficiency. Alpine uses Muzzle instead of Glipped and BusyBox instead of the standard new core utilities, resulting in an incredibly small footprint. In 2025, Alpine is becoming more popular on the desktop, especially among developers and advanced users who want a system that boots in seconds and uses almost no resources. Running Alpine with a lightweight desktop or even as a terminal-focused system can feel shockingly fast, even on very old hardware. It is not the most beginner-friendly distro, but if you want to experience just how lean Linux can be, Alpine is an eye-opening experience. Another distro that continues to shine in the lightweight category is Linux Lite. As the name suggests, Linux Lite is designed specifically for users who want a simple, fast system without sacrificing usability. Built on Ubuntu LTS, Linux Lite benefits from long-term stability while stripping away unnecessary components. In 2025, this makes it a fantastic choice for people migrating from Windows, especially on older laptops and desktops. The XFCE desktop environment is carefully tuned to be responsive and familiar, and the system includes helpful tools for managing updates, drivers, and software without overwhelming the user. What makes Linux Lite stand out is that it feels lightweight without feeling bare. It strikes a balance between performance and comfort that many distros struggle to achieve. Speaking of XFCE-based systems, Zubuntu remains one of the most reliable lightweight options available. While Ubuntu itself has grown heavier over the years, Zubuntu stays focused on efficiency and stability. In 2025, Zubuntu is an excellent choice for users who want a polished experience that just works on low-end hardware. The distro benefits from Ubuntu's massive ecosystem, meaning software availability is rarely an issue, while the XFCE desktop keeps resource usage low. Zubuntu is particularly well-suited for educational environments, office machines, and home users who need a dependable system that can run smoothly on modest specs. Moving further into the world of minimalism, we come to Puppy Linux, a distro that has always marched to the beat of its own drum. 
Puppy Linux is unique in that it can run entirely from RAM, making it incredibly fast once loaded. Even in 2025, Puppy remains one of the best options for reviving extremely old machines with very limited resources. Its small size means it can be stored on a USB drive and used as a portable operating system. While Puppy's interface and workflow may feel unconventional compared to mainstream distros, its speed and efficiency are unmatched. For users who enjoy experimenting or need a rescue system that works almost anywhere, Puppy Linux is still a must-try. Another distro that deserves attention is Antix. Antix is designed to run on very old hardware without relying on systemed, which many lightweight enthusiasts appreciate. In 2025, Antix continues to be relevant because it focuses on efficiency at every level. It uses lightweight window managers by default and avoids heavy background services. The result is a system that can run smoothly on machines with as little as one gigabyte of RAM, sometimes even less. Antix is especially popular among users who value control and simplicity and who want a distro that respects older hardware rather than leaving it behind. MX Linux, closely related to Annex, takes a slightly different approach. While still lightweight, MX Linux focuses more on usability and features. It combines the efficiency of Antix with a more user-friendly experience, including custom tools that make system management easier. In 2025, MX Linux is often praised for its stability, performance, and thoughtful design. It runs well on low-end systems, but it also feels perfectly comfortable on modern hardware. MX Linux is a great example of how a distro can be lightweight without feeling limited, making it a strong all-rounder for many types of users. For those who prefer a Debian-based system with a minimal footprint, LXLE is another excellent option. LXLE is built on Ubuntu LTS and uses the LXDE or LXQT desktop environment, depending on the version. In 2025, LXLE continues to target older hardware, offering a pre-configured lightweight system that is easy to use out of the box. It includes a curated selection of applications that are chosen for efficiency, ensuring that the system remains responsive even on machines with limited resources. LXLE is particularly appealing to users who want a ready-made lightweight system without spending hours configuring everything manually. Void Linux is another distro that deserves a place on this list, especially for users who value speed and independence. Void uses its own package manager and run it in its system which contributes to its fast boot times and low overhead. In 2025, Void Linux stands out as a distro that feels modern, clean, and extremely efficient. It does not rely on systemed, which appeals to a certain segment of the Linux community, and it offers both glip and muzzle versions for maximum flexibility. Void can be as minimal or as feature-rich as you want, making it an excellent choice for experienced users who want a lightweight system without sacrificing control. Finally, we come to Bodhi Linux, a distro that takes a unique approach to lightweight design through its use of the Moksha desktop environment. Moksha is a fork of enlightenment known for its efficiency and visual flair. In 2025, Bodhi Linux continues to prove that lightweight does not have to mean boring. The system uses very little RAM at idle, yet offers smooth animations and a distinctive look. Bodhi is built on Ubuntu LTS, which provides stability and access to a wide range of software, while the minimalist philosophy ensures that only essential components are installed by default. This makes Bodhi an excellent choice for users who want something lightweight, fast, and visually different from the usual Linux desktops. What makes these distros especially relevant in 2025 is not just their low system requirements, but their adaptability. Lightweight Linux distros are no longer only about saving old hardware, they are about efficiency, control, and focus. In a world where software often becomes heavier with each update, these distros remind us that speed and simplicity still matter. They allow you to build systems that do exactly what you need, without wasting resources on things you do not. Another important aspect to consider is how lightweight distros fit into modern workflows, with remote work, development, virtualization, and containerization becoming more common. Having a fast and responsive base system is more important than ever. A lightweight distro can serve as an ideal host for virtual machines, development environments, or even creative work, as long as it is configured properly. In many cases, 
users find that a lightweight Linux system feels faster and more reliable than heavier operating systems, even on relatively new hardware. It is also worth mentioning that the learning experience offered by lightweight distros is incredibly valuable. Distros like Arch, Void, and Alpine encourage users to understand how their system works. Rather than hiding everything behind layers of abstraction, this knowledge can be empowering, especially for students, developers, and IT professionals. Even more user-friendly options like Linux Lite, MX Linux, and Zubuntu still expose enough of the system to help users learn and grow over time. As we move further into 2025, sustainability is becoming an increasingly important topic in technology. Lightweight Linux distros contribute to sustainability by extending the life of hardware that would otherwise be discarded. Running a fast, modern operating system on a 10-year-old laptop is not just impressive, it is environmentally responsible. These distros prove that you do not need the latest hardware to have a smooth and productive computing experience. Ultimately, the best lightweight Linux distro for you depends on your goals. If you want maximum control and minimalism, Arch or Void might be the perfect fit. If you want extreme efficiency, Alpine or Anti-X could surprise you. If you are looking for something beginner-friendly that still runs well on older hardware, Linux Lite, Zubuntu, or MX Linux are excellent choices. Uh. And if you want something unique and visually interesting, Bodhi Linux offers a refreshing alternative. The beauty of Linux is that you are never locked into a single choice. You can try these distros, experiment with different desktop environments, and find what works best for your hardware and your workflow. In 2025, lightweight Linux distros are not a compromise. They are a statement. A statement that speed, efficiency, and simplicity still matter, and that powerful computing does not have to be resource-hungry. If you have not explored lightweight Linux yet, now is the perfect time to do so, because these distros are more capable, polished, and relevant than ever before.